Today I am going to be showing you a really simple, quick and easy roasted cauliflower dish that's going to take your lunches or teas to the next level. This is a fantastic vegetarian dish and I'm going to show you how to make this in the Ninja Foodie using some different cooking methods on this machine. I'm going to be using these simple ingredients in front of me, so let's jump straight into it. One pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos. Welcome back everybody. So let's move in and let's run through the ingredients that I've got in front of me for today's dish. We have some vegetable oil, 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms. I've peeled these and cut them in half. We have two small cauliflowers or you can do one large one. All I've done is peel the outer leaves off and take the florets off, left them fairly big. One 500 gram pack of pre-made shop bought gnocchi. We have 150 gram of grated yellow cheddar cheese, some salt, some cracked black pepper, 50 gram of butter, 50 gram of flour, and we have one litre of milk. Now we know all the ingredients that you need, let's move you in and we're gonna start off by turning the Ninja Foodie onto saute and sear on the high setting. Um, and we're gonna fill the pot with some water ready for the gnocchi. So let's get straight on with that. If I lift the lid open, you will see that I've got water in the pot all the way, about a third of the pot. And we're gonna switch this on, so we're gonna switch the foodie on. And we're gonna go to sear and saute. I'm gonna leave it on function or temperature five even. And we're gonna press go. And we're gonna bring this water to the boil. And what we're gonna to add to this is just a little splash of the vegetable oil and a little pinch of the salt. And what we are gonna do, we're gonna par cook the gnocchi to start with. And I've made this a couple of times using the gnocchi already cooked like this and also um, how you get it out of the packet from the shop and adding it to the sauce. It goes a little bit stodgy for me like that, whereas pre-cooking it before we add it to the sauce seems to work. So we're gonna let this come to the boil and then we're gonna add the gnocchi. So as you can see, it's now boiling. Top tip would be to add water from the kettle into this as it does take quite a while to boil from cold. So um, yeah. Next. In with the gnocchi. And if you've never cooked gnocchi before, it doesn't take very long at all. In fact, as soon as it starts floating to the top, it's ready to take out. So you just see they're just starting to float up to the top now. So I'm going to take these out and put them into the bowl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this water um, and we're gonna dry the pot out ready for the next stage. But before that, I'm just gonna tip a little bit of oil over the gnocchi. I'm just gonna to toss that in the oil. And that's a little bit like the, you know what you would do with pasta. It's just gonna help it to stop sticking together while we're cooking the cauliflower and the mushrooms and the sauce. Next, we've got the cauliflower and the mushrooms and again, what we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of oil on each, we're just going to mix these up and I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper, a bit of pepper. And we're gonna kind of just make sure that they've got a little bit of oil on them. Don't worry too much. 
And I'm going to put some of the cauliflower in. I'm going to go in with some of the mushrooms. And then the rest of the cauliflower. And the mushrooms. And then any of the oil that's left, I'm going to put over it. And the salt and the pepper. And these kind of little bits of cauliflower, I'm just going to leave them out because I don't want them to burn. shake I'm gonna put it in in the pot next I'm gonna shut the lid and I'm gonna switch it back on and this time I'm gonna go over to the second option I'm gonna go air fry 200 for 20 minutes all those settings are good I'm gonna press start now we are gonna shake this every sort of five minutes just to toss them all up and make sure everything gets nice and brown So we're five minutes in, so we're just going to have a quick look. And already you'll see a little bit of char in. Real, so we're going to leave this going. We want some nice colour to this. So I'm going to lift it up again. And this has now been going about 11 minutes. So let's have a little look. See, now give that a little shake. It smells amazing. I want to close the lid and let it carry on. And I do think this probably, because of the size of the cauliflower that I've done, it's going to take probably about 25 to 30 minutes rather than the 20 minutes. And it's nearly at the end. There we go. And we're going to lift it up. I've got to say, it looks really good. Now, I did give it an extra 10 minutes on the timer. But you'll see that the cauliflower and the mushrooms are all nicely cooked. Decent amount of colour on them. I'll just put it on some paper there so you can see. A decent amount of colour on them. And overall really really nice okay so now we're ready to cook so I'm going on sear and saute and I'm gonna go to number three and I'm gonna press start I'm gonna go in with the butter and we're gonna let that melt in the pan before we add the flour what I've got here is a whisk that's like plastic coated just so it doesn't scratch the pot just whiz the butter around just to help it melt. The gram of butter's melted, and then I'm going to go in with the 50 gram of flour. I'm just going to mix that around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this flour out just for about a minute, just to make sure that the end sauce doesn't have that floury taste to it. What we don't want to do at this point is take this roux too far. We don't want it to brown. We're not after making a brown sauce, we're after making a white sauce. Right, then next, I'm going to go in with some milk. We've got a litre of milk here, we'll see where we get to. Um, top tip is to heat your milk up, pop it in the microwave, warm it up, it will make the sauce quicker. I've kept it cold here because the majority of people will do it cold, but just a little tip. So we're going to move a little bit. The traditionalists will be saying you should be using a wooden spoon. And yes, I agree. 
but technology's moved on. I've got a plastic coated whisk. Although I've got to say, it's, it is a little bit, it's a little bit flexible. Unlike myself. So we're just going to keep adding a little bit at a time and working this in until we end up with a nice smooth white sauce. What I'll do is I'll speed this bit up until the sauce is done. Right, okay, so the sauce is about there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some cheese. And I'm gonna go in with quite a bit. And I'm just gonna leave some for the top. I'm gonna melt that in. And as well, I'm gonna go in with another pinch of salt and a bit more pepper. Nice yellowy colour. And that's the sauce done. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to get the gnocchi and we're going to put this back into the pot. sure it's empty and we're just gonna coat all of these lovely gnocchi in the sauce and I am just gonna turn it down a touch just to number two just so this cheese sauce doesn't stick or burn and then I'm gonna go in with all of those veggies that we cooked earlier mushrooms and cauliflower I'm just going to gently mix these in because what I don't want is for the cauliflower to end up like mush or for the mushrooms to end up disintegrated and if you've never had roasted cauliflower before it really does change the whole flavour of the vegetable and I know people that don't like cauliflower that now do like it because of the roasted flavour. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is just switch it off a minute and I'm going to go on with just the final little bit of cheese. and the rest of the crab block pepper. And what I'm gonna do is bring the lid down. I'm gonna switch it back on. And I'm gonna go to grill. There we go, and it's 240. I'm just going to knock this down to five minutes. It might not need five minutes, but we'll see. And we'll give it a little grill just to make that top really, really nice. I'm nearly up to the end of the five minutes on the grill. There we go. And let's have a final look at this. Wow, it looks, it looks really good. Look at that, golden on top. Right, let's get a generous helping served up. It does look so good. Obviously the roasted cauliflower, those mushrooms. Look 
Look at that. So nice. Right, let's taste it. Right, so the proof is in the taste, of course. So, let's have a little taste. I'm going to take a bit of the gnocchi and a bit of the cheese sauce and take a bit of the cauliflower. Let's give it a go. That is fantastic. I've made this a couple of times before and I thought I've got to get this on video and I've added the mushrooms as an additional because I thought, you know what, I think that'll go really well with it and they do, the flavour does come through um, and that cheese sauce is fab. Chestnut mushrooms, roasted cauliflower, gnocchi, cheese sauce, all cooked using the Ninja Foodie. So we've used the different settings, we've used sear and saute to boil. We have used air fry to cook the cauliflower and the mushrooms. We've then used sear and saute again, again to make the sauce. And we've used grill to finish the top. What a bit of kit this is. Fantastic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you made this already? Let me know. Are you going to make it? Would you add anything different to this? Would you take anything away? Maybe a little dab of English mustard in there to give it a bit of kick behind the scenes. Bit of paprika on top. I love smoked paprika. I think that would go really well with it as well. So let me know. Make sure you are heading over to Ninja Foodie World Facebook page as well. Um, the page that I run but it's for the members. It's getting loads and loads of great hints, tips and cooking pictures from the members on there. We're at 10,000 and growing. So hopefully I'll see you over there soon. And until next time, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you again very soon. One pizza too many.